Hi Libra, welcome to your August Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, August Love. So we're going to take whatever comes out here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it if you need to. Cross watchers as well. Could be a reading for you. All right, Libra, hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Do keep in mind we're taking whatever comes here. So, you know, if, it, if it's a no thank you to this reading, that's just probably not your reading. So please do keep that in mind. All right. Well, let's see. So we have here progress and we have 36, which is nine. Nine is almost, you know, completion, full circle, new beginnings. We have flow. <coughs> which is eight. Eight is infinity. It's putting in the work, travel, action, communication. Let's see. We have sensitivity, 12, which is three, which is growth expansion. And we have intention, 11. Now, 11 is a life path, soul path energy. And also ones are about uh, new beginnings. I'm feeling like you could be... Um, dealing with somebody here who is very very sensitive or they've been through it could be just like love and relationships it's just a very sensitive subject a f sensitive issue or uh, time for them I do see progress um, somebody you know making their intentions known wanting maybe to be more in the flow to go with the flow maybe not rush things as well but I do see that things could progress here. So let's see. So you may be, you know, maybe connected to somebody and you're feeling like it's not really moving too quickly. Um, I think they just have a sensitive spot because maybe they've been through some things and they, I think they may just want to kind of progress it slowly. Uh, maybe you need to ask their intentions, but like not pressure them either. But let's see. All right, Libra, let's see where this is going. Everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box, pin top comment. Your playlist is down there, list of readings I do here in my other channel. Not currently uploading uh, right now over there, but if you want to sub there in case this channel disappears, because you never know, you definitely can do that. All right, let's see, Libra. So let's see what is going on for you with this situation. <coughs> the star oh that's good energy two of swords the hangman so there's some stuck energy here especially with the two of swords and the hangman we have the eight of pentacles and again that's you know putting in the work you know slow progress things building here justice so there you are libra so libra i definitely feel like you know you are in their energy here because we do have the justice energy and with the star in justice I do feel like they feel like this is a good connection with you, but um, I feel like they may have a little bit of a block that needs to be healed. You know, they may have some more healing work that they need to do, balancing themselves out. Um, you know, the star is wish dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, balance, faith, hope, optimism. Um, but I see, you know, with the eight of pentacles here that they have some work that they need to do here. But it, that's also about slow growth, you know, putting in the work, but it's about slow growth as well. So you definitely feel like um, justice here, maybe somebody's divorced. I mean, that could be an issue as well. Um, that's a very sensitive situation for them. But the justice here can indicate a soul contract, universal law and order, you know, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. I'm not feeling any kind of like writing of wrongs or anything like that, but definitely... Um, I think you just need to give this person time and space. Um, I, I don't think it's anything about a break or anything like that, but this person just needs time to adjust to what they've been through and then growing in this new relationship as well. So that's why I think it's a very sensitive, maybe issue, topic, or situation, or you know, falling in love again for them may be a very sensitive thing for them. So let's see, we do have Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, you're right there. So you are all up in their energy here. Five of Wands. So I don't know if you've had a little argument with this person or there's been a little conflict. 
maybe about how things are moving very very slowly here at times it doesn't even feel like it's moving maybe at those times maybe you know if there was a little um conflict you know we could have retracted our energy maybe you went into hermit mode here but they do see you as an empress here we do have um the empress which is libra Taurus. And then we have the Knight of Swords, which is something moving very quickly. So I kind of see two energies here. Maybe, you know, butting heads a little bit from time to time. Like one wants to take it slow, but one wants to kind of move things forward here. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, all right. Let's see what's on the top here. Eight of Wands. So, I mean, we do have movement forward, travel, action. There is that divine connection here with the lovers. There's no doubt about that. If things, you know, falling in love, things moving forward with the Knight of Cups. But I think there needs to be some honest communication here, maybe, between the two of you. All right. So let's see what else we need to know here for Libra. What else do we need to know for Libra? Let's see. What else do we need to know for Libra? nine of cups so i do have a single energy here so i don't think that whatever was the issue that's causing them to be in this like sensitive state is no longer like a block or an issue in their life because we do have the nine of cups here which is for me a single energy nine of cups nine of, nine of pentacles as you can see somebody is by themselves here kind of indulging having a good time that is also wish fulfillment happiness and joy so you got two wish fulfillment cards here right on top of each other as well Oh, and then we have the Emperor. We just did see the Empress, no matter if it's same sex or not, whatever, because there's always one person that will be more masculine than the other, vice versa. So, but we do have the Emperor here. So, divine counterparts, Tower. Now, this person could have been stuck in a long, drawn out situation um, with that Tower in reverse, Six of Swords, but moving on from that. So, Definitely, it could have been some sort of crumbling down ending or something they were going through. I'm definitely feeling that. It was definitely a long, drawn-out situation. And it could have put through them through a lot. And that's why they're very sensitive um, as well. And you know what? It could be stress. It could be anxiety. It could be many things that's causing them a very sensitive um, time. Ace of Swords, Clarity from Source. So, yeah. So I definitely feel like that's what's going on here. And I do see them moving away from this energy. So I think they've already been through this and they've moved away from that. And they're definitely heading into a new beginning with you right here. You know, definitely needs to be a lot of truth, clarity, communication. This is a successful new beginning. Uh, cutting away what's no longer serving. And the Knight of Cups showing up again. So again, for a moment in love. But there's some, you know, could be some fear here with the devil but then we also have the sun next to it so this is a very intense connection i feel between the two of you but this also could be fear stress worry anxiety kind of energy but the sun is the happiest card in the deck enlightenment growth expansion healing page of pentacles definitely there's been a lot of talk here about um you know deepening this connection and you know making it something serious especially with the lovers here as well Seven Pentacles is about investing, but it's slow growth and at times feel like nothing's happening. There's no denying the spark, the attraction, the chemistry between you. So we have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords, definitely, that's Libra again. Um, definitely somebody could be divorced here. I'm feeling like more it's them. Three of Pentacles, again, slow growth, building. So let's see, we have Scorpio, Aries. Two cards of Aries here. All right. So what's coming in with the Ace of Swords? And I kind of see the Six of Swords, you know, being in the flow, you know, it says flow in the Six of Swords. She's kind of flowing there, definitely moving away into calmer waters, just kind of going with the flow. All right. What else do we have here for Libra? It's coming in with the Ace of Swords. What do we need to know about that? The soulmate connection. <laughs> my god there's no denying and i don't know if that's male and female it could be but it almost looks like same sex so it could be same sex for some doesn't have to be though there's that ace of wands again the spark of some exciting new energy here 
but somebody is definitely walking away from something very unhappy situation ten of cups there could be children involved family and five of pentacles this person also could have lost a lot of um, money um, there was a sense of lack here with this five of pentacles or maybe feeling like a failure because you know something they committed to in their life didn't work out it doesn't have to be though they could also feel you know if there was a time of separation due to whatever the circumstance was you know feeling that lack energy of being away from you as well page of pentacles but i there'll, there'll be some real conversation here i feel like I feel like you guys have talked about being, you know, in a deep relationship here with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, definitely. Knight of Wands. You definitely have a fiery, passionate connection here. There's nothing wrong with that in that department. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely somebody could be married, was married, or this is, you know, long-term energy here of abundance. Hmm. It's like choosing a new path here. You may be a little worried that because of their experience of what they've been through may have sabotaged the connection, the future of the connection with them moving forward. But I do see uh, reciprocation here with the Six of Pentacles, things balancing out. You may be worried, you know, if they've been through a hard time, they may get second you know, thoughts about, well, do I really want to be in a relationship again? I, I really don't think that's going to happen, but... You may think, you, some of you may think they may have a change of heart or change their mind because of the circumstances they've been through. But I, I don't really feel like that's going to happen here. All right, so what else do we need to know here for Libra with this Ace of Wands? This Ace of Wands. Did I say the sign? Well, we don't have any signs here. Let's say, did I say the signs? But let's see. Death. Yeah, somebody's been through an ending here. That's also transformation, new beginnings. Three of Swords, getting over heartache and pain. This person will get over their heartache and pain disappointment that they had over their ending. The confusion will clear, you know, about this whole situation with them and their energy towards whatever they've been through. Nine of Swords re in reverse. This is good because these cards you would want in reverse. Getting over the heartache and pain, not being in a state of confusion anymore, getting over that energy and no longer being stressed, worried, anxiety, none of that energy, not the Nine of Swords in reverse. And then things are going to move along uh, swiftly here with the Knight of Swords. That could be you, Libra. So I think just don't rush this person, you know. Don't rush them because I think they, they're going to get over whatever they've been through. They, I don't see them wanting to disconnect from you or leaving you or, you know, they do love you, they do want to be with you. They just need to do this at their own pace. And then once they have clarity of mind here and they go through that transformation, then boom, things are really going to pick up here with the Knight of Swords. So we have Scorpio and Aquarius here. Or that could be you, Libra, but three of wands. It's going to be happening uh, relatively soon, three weeks, three months as well. Knight of Cups. There's no doubting the romance um, moving forward here. Because there's that connection here with the lovers. Just saying. Just saying. Six of Cups. So they're done with the past. You know, they're not going to the past, going back to the past, anything like that. The past is done. It's over. Um, there's no chance of reconciliation or anything happening with the past. Not with the Three of Cups. Six of Cups reversed. Definitely with the Queen of Wands reversed. There's no, there's no desire for the past whatsoever, which is good. But we have new growth and expansion here on what? New love. The love between you. That's kind of what I feel. All right. So we do have um, Aries here on the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's see what the outcome is going to be here. We did see the three of threes are kind of like time markers. So three wands, three of swords, three days, three weeks. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. Outcome here. What else do we need to know? for Libra. Temperance, this is a soulmate connection here. Divine alchemy brings soulmates together at just the right time. So even though it's uh, times the energy seemed off, there may have been doubts, but there's no denying the connection. You were meant to meet the person at the time you've met them. If things to work out the way they're working out, though sometimes it doesn't feel that way. This is divine alchemy of soulmates. Patience, healing, balance, past life. Peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. Four of 
uh, swords here. Someone just needs a little rest, recovery, and healing time. And then there's going to be reciprocation here, things balancing out. High infant in reverse. Yeah, definitely somebody could hear, could hear it could be divorced. It's kind of like divorce for me when it's in reverse. But there's no denying the connection with you. So the connection is here with you. So they just need a little time to balance and heal themselves out. Um, and then you have this divine connection and nothing can stop that. So we have Gemini, Taurus, uh, Sag, King of Cups. There are a lot of love and emotions here, but, you know. So we have Pisces, King of Wands reverse, uh, Queen of Wands reversed. I don't think there's any passion lacking. I uh, definitely, I feel like where they lost their passion and drive and something from the past, they're moving away from that. The chariot here, definitely. Queen of Pentacles, again, could be somebody maybe divorced as well. Nine of Wands. So, you know, they've been through the battle, the struggle here. But looking to the future, definitely here, no matter what. And things are going to move forward. You know, we do have the Knight of Cups here. So we have Pisces here. And also uh, Cancer. I don't know, I was being led to say that. So that means anything for anyone. All right, so uh, let's see. We have Gemini, Taurus, Sag. So let's see. We have four, five, six. That's, pro that's progression. Anyway, let's see what this deck has to offer you, Libra. If this did resonate, Libra, you enjoy this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need is below. So let's see what this deck has to offer for Libra, for August love. And if you've been wondering where I have been for the last week, Libra, please do go to the community tab. There's like three posts up there explaining why I've been absent and where I've been and what's been going on with me. So if you want to catch up on that, you can go over there and check that out on the community tab. So we have Illusion. We have six. Again, that's a healing balanced energy. And I do feel, you know, somebody may have, this person may have felt, oh, maybe, I, you know, maybe at the very, very beginning of your connection and especially what they were going through, oh, maybe I was just infatuated, whatever. But I think soon... Um, they realized here that it just wasn't an illusion. Woman's Wisdom, 24. Another six. A lot of healing, balanced energy. For some of you, I'm definitely feeling vibes of maybe same sex, but, you know, it doesn't have to be here. They definitely have gained a lot of wisdom, maybe the both of you, through their situation or whatever, you know, just trials of life. There. Seven. So we got six, seven. So seven... Um, is a divinely guided spiritual energy. Sometimes it can feel frustrating or a little still stagnant, feel like nothing's happening, but the universe is just kind of working its magic here. Okay, I just got one more for so somebody, you know, I do don't elude yourself either if you have that fear, oh my god, they're gonna have a change of heart, they're gonna change their mind because nothing's moving, whatever, whatever. You know, I, I don't think that's gonna happen here. Someone just has to go through their inner journeys here. 23, which is 5, which is change. But things will change. Strength, and that's good here. 19, 10, endings and new beginnings. Strength, overcoming. This is like Leo energy here. Overcoming the situation. Strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe there's been a little holding back resistance um, from the start. But, you know, the connection just cannot be denied. Maybe even past life. It's being strong, courageous, and brave willpower and determination so i like that energy and look we got willpower on the bottom so so that's what i have for you libra so i do see here that things are going to stop moving forward this person just needs a little healing time more of like going with the flow um and let them do do this at their own pace and then i do think that they're gonna you know overcome their situation or the sensitivity they're going through and then things are going to stop moving forward right libra that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonate again everything you need is below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time